Hey guys, today I want to show you my ATV setup. Let's start with the 5 liter gas canister that I mounted on the front of the ATV. It was important for me that the canister is attached with a bracket that makes it easy for me to access and I never have to be worried that the canister somehow will fall off on bumpy roads because it just can't wobble around. The 18 liter tank of the CF Moto is ok. Now when I fully load the ATV it gets quite heavy and the tank empties quicker than expected. So I decided to have an extra tank with me, especially on longer trips I've been very happy about it. And with 5 liter I'm just on the safe side. Now I show you how I attach the mount. It's not a masterpiece, but I, like I said, I'm happy with it. I screwed it on. And so I can do it, I'll take the platform away. Now, the delivery included the curved screws with which you can attach the canister to a pipe. In this case, I simply used four treated screws and four locking nuts on the other side so that they don't fall off to the vibration. After that I looked where the canister fits the best and then drilled four holes. Here you can see that there is a fabric underneath the platform that I cut away at the points where the screws come through. But that would be all, just screwed everything on and you're done. So let's move on to the rear of the ATV. Having a box is super handy. It gives you so much more storage space that you can also lock if necessary. I mounted a few things on top of it. Sand parts for freeing yourself in mud, sand or snow if you don't have any anchor points. Rope extensions if the anchor points are a little further away and a tree sling so that the steel rope doesn't suffer so much. Yes, the Max Rex Mini are a bit expensive, but in case I'm really stuck, I'm glad to have it with me. I'm often alone on the road, which makes it all the more important for me to have the option of being able to free myself. By the way, that was the situation when I decided to buy some sand parts. It took me a while to get out of this. The rope extension and the tree sling are, as already mentioned, to support the winch. The winding rope of the CF Moto is about 15 meters long. In a few cases it was too short, so I'd rate it to be on the safe side here as well. The extension isn't heavy and doesn't take up much space, so I take it with me on almost every tour. The same goes for the tree sling. The tree is just an example how it could be used. The winch has a pulling power of over a ton, so you could attach a little more than that.
So these were the most important modifications to my ATV. I want to make it clear that in addition to all the off-road stuff, I always have a first aid kit, always enough to drink or tools or navigation. But in this video, I just want to show you what I have changed or attached to the ATV. The setup is far from perfect and some things will change in the future. Here you can see that there is a lot of weight on the straps due to the accessories on the flap. So I made a second connection on the left. And because the case does not rest completely on the part, the case wobbles a little bit. For this I can make two additional bolts. If you have any ideas what could be done better or maybe gadgets that shouldn't be missing, let me know in the comments below. I hope the video was able to help you and the English wasn't too bad. I definitely tried extremely hard. Enjoy the outro and see you in the next one. Bye! Yeah.